So we've been really very surprised by the number of people that have watched our video in the first five or six weeks. Whoa, that shattered. Pretty hard. Uh, when I did the introduction, which some of you might have already looked at, I had no idea what was going to happen. And it was really fun because just going through the elements, it was like visiting old friends and we discovered new things which we'd never really realised before. It's really quite fantastic because you can see it's a liquid. Italian tennis, Primo Levi. So it's just about cool now. But this is a ball of copper, copper metal. But this um, video, the website, we've now had nearly one and a half million people. But it's not just that they've been watching it, but we've got really quite a lot of the feedback. If you look here on the, one of these um, elements here, that we've had a whole series of comments from people. For example, this has been a comment on the element Anan Octium, the very last one, 118, which asked us why we wouldn't do a few molecules as well. CO2, DNA, exciting molecules. And this has really made us think that we, we need to update the, the um, website, keep it instead of a, just a dead object, something that is live and is <coughs> going to develop from one week to the next. So you can see the liquids. Yeah, so you can see it's kind of shiny by there. It quickly forms a layer of sort of oxides and nitrides in the air. So Brady is working with me and my colleagues each week to try and give you a new element, either just because we thought of a nice experiment which we haven't done before, or we found a nice sample, or because something exciting has happened in the news, which makes it really important that you should start thinking about these new elements. The phosphorus itself is in our bodies as phosphate, lots and lots of it, so it's very, very common in the environment. OK, you can also see a bit of yellow, which is the organic bit going as well. I think that it really is quite important to us to hear from the people that we're talking to. And I've realised that I've lectured in the past five weeks to more people than the whole of the rest of my life. In fact, in one night, I think more people watch the videos than I've ever lectured to in my life. And we want to know what you all think. We can't obviously respond to all of you, but we will try and answer your comments if you post them on our website or on YouTube. And we're looking at blogs and so on. For example, there's a blog over here, if you look. This is a Russian blog, and in which they've made some quite interesting suggestions down here. And we've tried to look at these. We've found websites in Turkish, in Hungarian. One of my students translated the Hungarian website for me. And we're trying to listen to what people say, because our aim is to tell you about why we think chemistry is exciting and why we want you to feel that it's exciting too.